Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me Muhammad Asif and you are watching my YouTube channel Asif Zibimati videos. Dear viewers, today I am going to discuss that what is dengue fever and how we can diagnose dengue fever in laboratory. But before proceeding this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my upcoming video. Dear viewers, there are certain synonyms of dengue fever. Dengue fever is also known as break bone fever because there is severe bone pain that's why this is known as break bone fever. Dengue fever is basically a mosquito bone viral infection. It means that this uh, disease is transmitted from an infected mosquito to a human. There are four main types of dengue virus that is dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, 3 and 4. The mosquito which is responsible for the transmission of this virus is Aedes aegypti mosquito. And the distinction feature of this mosquito is that this mosquito breed in clean water. So if there is standing water and that water is clean so please cover that water. There are certain distinction signs and symptoms of dengue fever that is high grade fever, bone pain giant pain, headache, abdominal pain, nausea, omitting and body rashes that is red spots on the body. These are the signs and symptoms but the signs and symptoms range from mild to severe. Those individuals who have strong immune system so the signs and symptoms may be mild while those individuals who have a weak immune system so there will be severe sign and symptom of dengue fever. Now in the laboratory how we can diagnose a patient having a dengue infection? When the patient comes to the doctor, the doctor prescribes complete blood count. So in complete blood count there is leukocytopenia means that TLC count is reduced and thrombocytopenia. And when we examine the peripheral blood smear, so in the peripheral blood smear we examine plasma satiate cells and plasma satiate cells are basically activated lymphocytes. When there is thrombocytopenia, leukocytopenia and presence of plasma satiate cells, we prescribe dengue specific test that is RT-PCR and dengue NS1 test. So in the first four days, RT-PCR and dengue NS1 test will be positive. After four days, other serological tests like presence of IgM antibodies and IgG antibodies would be helpful for the detection of dengue fever. If a person have only IgG antibodies, so that means that that individual is previously infected and he is an immunized person. While presence of IgM antibodies indicate a recent infection and acute infection. So if a person have both antibodies, so means that IgG antibodies also developed means that he is an immunized person. In presence of Ig antibodies indicate recent infection. So these are serological based tests. So this was all about dengue fever and its diagnosis. Hope so that you would like my video. Like if you like. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.